Hey friends, it's Paige Evans. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to show you how to create a saddle stitch mini album from start to finish and we'll fill it up with photos and embellishments using my Bloom Street collection with Pink Paisley. So I'm quickly flipping through so you can see what it's going to look like. And now I want to show you the papers that you'll need. So the 12 by 12 floral transparency paper, paper number 15, paper number 14, paper number eight, paper number nine, paper number 12, paper number 21, a three by four pocket page, so it has two inch square pockets, and paper number 11. And that's the order in which we're going to cut them. So first you'll grab the floral transparency paper and you'll want to trim it to 10 and a quarter inches by seven inches. And then because it's a transparency, the corners are pretty sharp. So grab a corner rounder and quickly round all four corners. And then you'll need a scoring board and scoring tool. And place it nudged up into the top left corner and at five and one eighths inch, that's halfway, make a score line with the scoring tool. And then we'll fold the transparency in half along that score line. And this is going to be the outer edge or the outer paper of the mini album. So we'll continue cutting and scoring the papers. So trim paper number 15, which is this purple floral, to seven inches by 10 inches. Grab the scoring board and we're gonna score it halfway at five inches. Then we're going to fold it in half along the score line and set it onto our pile with the light purple side down, so the floral, dark purple floral side up. Trim the pastel stripes paper to five inches by 10 inches, and then we'll score at five inches from the left side. And I messed up in this video. If you want to make it exactly like my finished album, place it with the stripes side down, but it really doesn't matter in the long run. It all looks good. Trim paper number eight with these butterflies to four and a half inches by nine inches, and then score at four and a half inches. Fold it in half and place the butterflies side down. Next, we'll grab paper number nine, which has green floral on the front and pink polka dots on the back. Trim it to four inches by eight inches. Score it at four inches from the left side. Fold it along the crease and then set it with the green floral side down, the pink polka dot side up. Now you can either die cut a seven inch circle to use as a template or if you don't have a die cut machine, maybe you have a circle cutter. I found a dish a plate that was about seven inches across and so I'm tracing it onto this paper number 12 which has a pretty floral on the front and a green design on the back. Traced it with a pencil and now I am cutting it out just inside the pencil lines with a pair of scissors. The plate was just a little bit bigger than seven inches so that's why I'm cutting it inside the pencil lines. The album, the finished album will be five by seven, and that's why I'm using a seven inch circle. Grabbing the scoring board once more, and half of seven is three and a half inches, so I will score it down at the three and a half inch line, fold it in half, and then set it into the pile with the floral side down, the green side up. Next, I'm grabbing paper 21, which has an aqua floral hummingbirds on the front, and another green pattern on the back, cutting it to six and three quarters by 12. So you don't need to cut anything after the six and three quarters. Then I'm scoring at four and a half and nine inches from the left side, folding the right flap over and then in the middle and setting it with the aqua hummingbird plant side down. I'm trimming off the hold edge from this pocket page protector and then scoring at 
four and a half inches. So just on the other side of that perforated line and then folding it in half. So now there's going to be two by three pockets on each side, which will be fun. Perfect for adding lots of extra photos. I'm starting to clip things with clips. From this seed packets paper, trim off the barcode strip at the top and then use the scoring tool and score in between each of the seed packet designs. Roughly at three inches, six inches, and nine inches. And then we're going to fold it kind of like a book. So flip it over and fold the left and right sides over. But since it doesn't fold neatly, up in half again, you need to trim off about an eighth of an inch from the left and right edges. And then it folds together nicely. That is the finished process of the trimming the papers and the circles and all the fun things. So I'm holding that flap with a paper clip. And now I need to get everything arranged how I want it to look. I've been cutting the papers in the order that I want them, but now I need to center everything, make sure all of the creases are aligned and these papers are where I want them before I stitch the book together. And to help keep everything in place, I'm just going to use clips galore to make sure sh things don't shift around and I'm using washi tape to hold this seed packets part in the middle so that, so that it doesn't move around either. On my blog post I have a stitching template which you can print out and I will leave a link to in the description of this video. Clip it in place so that it's right up against the middle of the book, so in the crease. And then where the line meets the crease of the book, you want to pierce a hole with a paper piercer. And since it's going through lots of layers of pattern papers and especially the thick pattern transparency, you're gonna have to use a little bit of muscle to make the needle go through all of those layers. So just be patient and careful as you're poking all of those holes through the crease of the mini album. You can unclip the template and set it aside and now we're going to do the saddle stitch. So I have a piece of white thread trimmed to about 20 inches or so, two feet or so. Starting at the bottom hole on the inside, go out that first hole and leave about a two inch tail. Secure it with washi tape and then go into the next hole. So it's kind of like an over under weave. This is the basic saddle stitch going in and then out the next hole up and down weaving your way through. Things do shift around a little bit and the thread can sometimes get caught on the corners of the papers and these clips so my advice is just to be patient and as careful as you can when you're sewing and take your time and it'll all work out in the end. You can persevere. Again, it takes a little bit of muscle to get this needle through all of the layers, but it can be done. Continuing with the saddle stitch, weaving my way through. Once we get to the top, I'm going to start adding some metal charms. And also you'll want to pull the thread up. Pull the thread up, up and away from the book and that makes it nice and tight. So here are the flower charms from Bloom Street. So I've come out this last top hole and you want to thread the flower on upside down. And that way it'll be showing the right way. So go out the next hole, pull it tight, loop on the next flower charm. Again, go backwards, put the flower charm on backwards and that way it ends up right side up. Go out the next hole, continuing to pull the thread nice and tight so everything stays put together as best as you can. Thread on the next flower charm backwards. Go into the next hole 
And we'll repeat that same thing three more times. I have a book binding tool which is helpful for doing a saddle stitch like this. It has measurements and a paper piercer and guides and it comes in a light pink color which I love. There's also a mint colored one from We Are Memory Keepers. What I love about this type of mini album is you can make the pages pretty much any size and shape. So it's really eclectic and fun to look through. Now that I have both of my thread ends on the inside of the book, I can tie a knot. And this is the final step for completing the base of a saddle stitch mini album. I'm actually tying a triple knot just to be safe and then trimming off the excess thread. At this point, it's time for photos, embellishments, and journaling. And so if you want to end the video now, you can, but if you want to keep watching to see how I embellished, I will keep going. So super fun. I love how it looks. I'm flipping through so you can see the different sizes and the interactive elements that make mini albums just so fun to flip through. For the title, I documented one of our travels. When we lived in Germany, we visited a city called Bacharach. And so from the puffy word stickers, I always recommend having two sets of these. One that you can use as is for the words that say, you know, dance, miracle, spring, love, sunshine. But I also have an extra set to use as alphabet stickers. So I'm picking and pulling different colored letters to create the title. Sometimes those teeny tiny pieces don't stay on the packaging, so I'm using the same paper piercer that I used to make the holes in the album to take out those tiny pieces just in case they don't come out on their own. So the city is Bacharach and the country is Germany. So from the four page sticker book, I'm grabbing the mini alphabet stickers to say Germany underneath. Your album probably won't be about your visit to Bacharach, Germany. I mean, maybe it will be. And, but you can make your mini album about anything that you would like and create the title this way. I added a strip of purple wa floral washi tape and a pink heart sticker. And now I'm stapling a piece of ribbon to the front cover and another piece of ribbon to the back cover. And this will tie the album closed once it's all finished. On the first page, I think it's helpful to use clips and weights to keep everything nice and open because of the transparency paper, it tends to want to splay open in different ways. So having a weight and clips will be very helpful. I grabbed a ruler and a black pen and I'm writing lines and this can be the introduction to what your mini album is about. From the floral die cuts, I'm grabbing one of my favorites and trimming it in half. So I'll place one of the halves above the journaling lines and the other half below the journaling lines. And this just creates a nice frame for the journaling. For a little pop of something extra, I'm grabbing this sticker strip that kind of looks like washi tape, but it's not as transparent. Placing it below the journaling lines, trimming off the excess, and then adding that flower half die cut back. Instead of printing out all of my photos, again, I don't need two of the same mini album. I just stamped the sizes onto smooth white cardstock so you can see the size of photos that I used. So this photo is four by six inches, fits right here on the left side of this first spread. Please note, I put those pink love letters right there. It was part of a word that said lovely but there is also a separate word that says love, and I do end up switching those in a little bit. So do it correct the first time and use the word that just says love and not the word that says lovely because I used the lovely word in a page coming up. I added a heart sticker strip below, stamping the date on this journaling card from the ephemera die cuts and placing it on the right page. And you can add journaling to that journaling card. On this next spread, I add, I'm adding a four by four inch photo to both sides, and then adding a floral die cut, this one on the right, 
has gold, has silver foiling details, so it's from the ephemera die cuts, and that yellow flower is from the floral die cuts. Adding a star sticker strip from the cardstock stickers, a happy green tab from the four page sticker book, and a lovely cardstock sticker directly on top of that flower. I'm covering this page with the with a four and a half inch square photo, and then all I'm doing on this right page is adding a sentiment die cut with foam adhesive. It's not very thick, but it does have a little bit of dimension. On this side, I'm adding a three and a half inch square photo. That's all the embellishing. That's the only thing I did, but you can add stickers or whatever you would like if you want to embellish further. Along the curve of this next page, I'm adding the floral foam thickers to say beautiful town. So again, you can change, change it up and say whatever goes along with the theme of your mini album. On this next spread, I'm adding a round die cut that says Hello Spring. At the start of my journaling, I'm placing a pink enamel flower dot, and then you write your journaling around this round die cut. A three inch square photo on the right side, trimming off the edge of a floral die cut and placing it at the top of this photo. So here's when I realized that I used the wrong puffy word sticker, so I'm taking that love and adding the L-Y, so it says lovely, and then placing the actual word that says love back on this first spread. So easy fix, just do it right the first time, no big deal. Using the clips for this next spread, I'm using two journaling spots. I had a lot of journaling that I wanted to say about all of the photos that I put in these page protectors, these mini pockets. These stickers, these number stickers are from my stash. They're from Heidi Swap. The numbers will co coordinate with photos in these pockets. So I trimmed all a whole bunch of photos to two by two inch squares. So I used two, four, six photos and I placed them back to back. So I had three sets of photos and I'm tucking them into these pockets. I'm taking apart these three perforated heart journaling squares and adding heart puffy stickers on top, but I decided to put the heart die cuts in the pocket first and then adding the heart puffy stickers on top. And I like having things on top of the page protectors. It just makes it more eclectic and dimensional and you just wanna to touch it. And then going to staple those in place. My stapler wouldn't reach this pocket way over here on the left, so I stapled just the top right and bottom right hearts, and then this one, the heart is actually going inside the pocket, and that's okay. To cover up the staples on the back side of this page protector, I'm using some of the dimensional butterflies from Bloom Street, and that just hides the staples in a clean way. I'm rounding the corners of these seed packets. Fun designs and then opening it up to work on the inside, adding a two and a half by three and three quarter inch photo to the very left and the third section. In this second section, I'm going to add some cardstock stickers. So a floral ampersand above, it'll say sunshine and then below happiness. So sunshine and happiness. On this right edge, I'm adhering a floral die cut and then trimming off the excess. And that's it for this, this little section. Okay, so I always have tons and tons of photos that I want to include, two inch square photos, which I create using collages in Picasso, which I also have a tutorial for, I can leave a link to. And just like I did in the previous part of the page protector, I am sandwiching two photos back to back and then filling up all of the pockets with my photos. These are the photos that I numbered that coordinate with the journaling, one, two, three, so I will grab those number stickers again. In just a little bit, first I wanna add some embellishment to this side, so I'm using three puffy leaf stickers in pinkish and purple tones and then just placing them down the center. So now the coordinating numbers so that it matches up with the journaling. There was one on this side, 
the number one, and then the number two was this photo. Mine, these numbers might not match up exactly with where yours will be, but I just wanna show how that's kind of a fun idea. So here is a seven by five inch photo. I'm creasing it right here and then gluing it in place. And then using the puffy word beautiful across the top. Hopefully your photo will have some white space and it won't be obtrusive on your photo, but it'll just be a fun embellishment. Along the bottom edge, I'm placing this dark blue floral washi tape. Add a little bit of interest down here and some pops of color. Trim off the excess with scissors and then grab a floral die cut and glue it right on top down there on the bottom left. Keep that flap closed with a paper clip and moving on to the next spread. So I have a four by three inch photo. I'm gonna add a flower at the top, tearing off this perforated tab, tuck it underneath, write journaling on top of it. And then I'm gonna create a sentiment cluster over here on the right page. So the spring puffy vinyl sticker, magic puffy word sticker, I'm gonna dot the eye with a white glitter enamel dot. From the four page sticker book, grabbing an O and an F. So the sentiment is magic of spring. There's a floral border on the first page of the four page sticker book and the little circles usually don't come out on their own so I have to poke them out with something sharp. And then that goes underneath the spring and then the last little decoration will be a pink heart from the Puffy Word Stickers. So you can write your caption and then we'll move on to the next spread. A three by three inch photo, so three inch square photo here on the right. I didn't do any embellishments on the left. I thought the flowers were pretty enough. And then stapling a Puffy Heart Sticker. And you can write your journaling around the frame or around the edge of that photo. Add a You Make My Heart Flutter sticker on the left page a four and a half inch square photo on the right page. And then if there's white space on your photo, you can add some things. I stapled a puffy heart sticker. I'm adding this and then a rainbow scalloped border sticker from the four page sticker book. There's a little white puffy heart sticker from the puffy words and a hummingbird, why not? Super cute little embellishment cluster. All right, we're working our way through. I'm tearing off the bottom of this tag from the ephemera die cuts and it covers up the staple made from that previous page. Write journaling on top, adding a four by three inch photo on this page. Again, remember in my actual book, this, paper, this pattern paper was upside down so the yellow paper was showing on that side. Adding a floral die cut to the top right and trimming off the excess. On this spread, I'm adding a three and a half inch square photo and then stapling a three inch square photo on top. So we're making another interactive element. Covering the staple with a purple leaf die cut. I trimmed off the triang triangular edge from this purple perforated die cut and added it to the bottom edge as a tab and added another pur purple leaf, this time a sticker on the bottom edge. On the right side, I covered the paper with a five by seven inch photo. I rounded the corners and I'm creating an embellishment cluster down here on the bottom right using cardstock stickers, a perforated tab, and a green leaf puffy sticker. The last thing, I'm adding a So Happy Together cardstock sticker and a strawberries sticker strip. Stapling a green heart puffy sticker right there, and I'm done. You can add your journaling in the form of paper strips or handwritten sentiments and then tie the book closed. So once again, I just wanna flip through the finished album, this time a little bit slower, so you can see what it looks like with the journaling. So I wrote my journaling, and I've got my photos in place, and I love the shimmer and shine from some of the die cuts and sentiment stickers. Having the different shapes makes it so fun to flip through every page. Having the pockets that are see-through adds another element of surprise and fun. Fold out tabs and pages. And the font I always use for my journaling is Remington Noiseless and I just print it at home and trim it into strips and glue them in place. I like having the mix of handwritten and type journaling. 
tie the album closed with the ribbon strips and there you go saddle stitch album thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions and i will see you again soon have a great day